So inflammation certainly is involved in rheumatoid arthritis and it's felt that inflammation, the inflammation associated with rheumatoid arthritis may be in part related to why there's a high incidence of cardiovascular disease because we know from our cardio cardiology colleagues that there is an inflammatory component to cardiovascular disease or heart disease, heart attacks and strokes and that the inflammation that affects the blood vessels that supply the heart muscle can be a problem. The pathways, the biology behind these conditions may be in part why there is a common component. Plus, the inflammation may be important in terms of diabetes, may be important in terms of obesity, and all these factors which are part of the metabolic syndrome, cardiovascular disease, high blood pressure, being overweight, they are all part of the metabolic syndrome, which is one of the risk factors for heart disease. We also need to consider the systemic components of inflammation and rheumatoid arthritis. So it's very important that we do treat for joints. As we control the inflammation in the joints, we're also helping control the systemic inflammation, which may be why we're seeing improvement in some of these outcomes over time.